It's still a blessing. So, so all of us then, y'all think that's going to be all of us? Amen. Did you much of that chance? So, 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 so Satan, they had a problem. They had a problem with being impatient.
the grass. Joe, the, 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 the grass is always green until you have to cut it. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Wrong time. We 
giving rise to this notion, if God be for me. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm not. Right. How many will say that? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and I'm going to argue that for a moment. If God be for me, why am I going through what I'm going through? Yeah, right. I mean, if God really be for me, mm -hmm. why am I suffering? I mean, yeah. And if God be for me, why I can't find a job? Uh -huh. if, if God really be for me, we, we still ask that. And I'm going to talk to some believers in here yeah. that's struggling and you know that God is with you, but you're still asking and ascertaining, God, why am I going through what I'm going through? Right. And I want to tell you that the storm that you are in does not negate the presence of God. Right. Just, just, just because you're in a storm, yes, it has nothing to do with whether God is absent. Right. Anytime God promise you something, you need to start looking for trouble. I mean, anytime you get promised, look around the corner. Some trouble is going to be there. Yeah. Uh -huh.
just stop and say, Lord, what do you need, man? I'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah.